Cheap hustles, dirty little scams, crappy condos and resorts, fake universities, inedible steaks. Trump steaks are by far the best tasting, most flavorful beef you've ever had. Gas station vodka, Trump selling trash is nothing new. Now, it's even more sleazy. Crappy sneakers from China. It's Donald Trump's latest money-making scheme. That's the real deal. Trump branded Bibles. Donald Trump announced a deal to endorse a $60 God bless the USA Bible. Bitcoin Ponzi schemes and NFTs. His own crypto exchange platform. He'll turn the White House into a pawn shop, selling garbage to roots from the Oval Office. Let's start with those MAGA hats. They come from China. Trump and his family made billions off his presidency. He's back for more. He's a charlatan, a snake oil salesman, a fraud and unfit for office. There you have it, our snake oil salesman, the charlatan, the one that we've been beating in a drum because the church has taken on this platform with this man and it has been destroyed from within because of one person. And we'll continue to talk about that and reject because that's the message. Christians need to reject this man once and for all. And unfortunately, the money changers, the snake oil salesmen, and all of them has taken place within the church like never, bef never before. You have people that have built their ministries and rode the coattails of Donald Trump, and some have become millionaires, and some have done well off under the guise of Christianity. And let's look at some of the people that have benefited off of this man and utilize the guise of Christianity and act like they care about you. Let's look. So, I've had many words about Trump since then. Just God showing me where he's at, uh, prayers he needs, um, how God wants to use him. I have actually started writing a, a prophetic book about Trump. It's not like, oh, Trumpism. It's not like that. I felt like God told me to write a book about what he has shared with me about the purpose for Trump and the whole thing around the Trump stuff, okay? Prophetically speaking, what God Amazing is Amazing thing in President Trump life, and he's going to establish him. He's going to bring back with a great return in the right time, right season, and it is at hand. The Lord will do extraordinary things, marvelous things, wonderful things. It is just the beginning. Greater things are yet to come. Nothing is going to stop the plan of God. Let's just all begin to turn around. God, we speak and declare over the United States of America, over this time that you have chosen of the midterm elections, in this time in our country, in this time in our nation. Lord, as we turn, we say things shift. We say things turn to I want you to just do a, do a circle, do a 180 right now of everything. 180, yeah. Okay, and what's going to happen? Yeah. 180. We're calling down your glory. We're calling down your glory. Glory in Jesus' mighty name. Watch. Now watch and see what God is about to do. <laughs> We're going to get my show far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get the show far. And there you have some various people that are out here continuously lying on the Lord and utilizing Trump's name and utilizing it for their ministry. And as you see, there's one guy in particular, let's focus in on this particular person right here, uh, uh, Timothy Dixon, a guy that's church is almost Zion Temple or Assembly or something, uh, is it still, it's almost done, it's being built, he's asking for money. This guy, listen to him, let's listen to him. Last night I was visited by an angel of the Lord brought a message to me about the coming days. And, and I saw the current president of the United States was sitting in the Oval Office with his back to me. And I knew in, I knew in my dream, the man in front of me was the president the real current president of the United States of America. But when he turned around, it was, it was President, President Donald Trump. And that is him. 
He has these dreams all the time. He's a former truck driver of some sort or something. But all of a sudden, he has these dreams about Donald Trump all the time. And he's built his ministry on that. And he's going to actually open the church. He's friends with false prophetess Amanda Grace, Julie Green, Manuel Johnson. You name it. They all, Deborah uh, Midnight with Deborah. They all travel together and go into remote areas of various states, Alabamas, and all these various churches and events and preach heresy or act like, you know, you think that they're standing for the Lord, but they're not. This is the problem. And, you know, we have a big problem because the money changers are, they're out there. You got people like this, Troy Black, that asked for $30,000 so that he can make a documentary to try to push out propaganda so people can uh, vote for Trump because the, the message is they still push this message that he's anointed by God to save America and to save this world, basically. Just like this phony speaker. You are the 12 disciples that God has called to stand behind Donald Trump. And if Satan can get you tired, Donald Trump loses. And that's where we are. It hasn't went anywhere. This is why this whole thing needs to be blown up and taken out because, you know, as far as blown up spiritually, it needs to be. I'm not talking about bombs and any types of violence. So, uh, you know, as far as voted out, we need to vote out any MAGAs we talk about in anywhere they are, the liars the election not, and any church pastors that are preaching that need to be set down. You need to get with your board. If you have a board, as we talked about with the bylaws and all this and that, you need to come together. Vote the pastor out of there. Get him out. Get him out. If you go into any church or any following any ministry or subscribing to anybody online that they talk about Trump being anointed by God and promote him as some special godlike figure, you need to unsubscribe. Get off that channel. Leave. Go. Because it's a trap by the devil if you continue down the path. And, you know, you have people. So you have these people that are masquerading as Christians and giving you Bible verses and teachings. And you think that they're this great man or woman of God, but they're charlatans. They're doing it for gain for many of them. That many of some of them know they're lying on purpose. Some of them know that they know what the people want because of the itching ears. They know that they want to dangle carrots out there and give people false hope. They know that. But then there's others. That they've then fallen into their own trap of deception. They've fallen into the devil's trap. That they actually believe. Believe their own lives. They believe that they're having dreams from God. They believe that they're hearing from God. But in actuality, they're hearing from doctrines of demons. They're hearing and having visions sent to them by the evil one. As he throws the fiery darts. Because they don't have the full armor of God on them. So the darts that the devil throw, as the scripture tells us, is penetrating their hearts, their minds, and everywhere else. So these folks are tainted, and these folks are to be avoided. And, he, and you have them on every level. In the head. And this is why this is dangerous, and this is why we know this Trump doctrine that's infiltrated the church is so dangerous. Because you have event people going around with the Great Awakening, with plenty of pastors and Christians that speak at these events. And then you get people like this Stu Peters that portrays like he is some type of Christian. But you want to see some hate? I'm getting ready to show you something. Hate to the core. And this guy is on a platform. So I'm going to show you what he said recently about trying to force religion down people's throats, basically, in form of base, and, and, and if they don't uh, 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 follow orders, basically, we they need to we need to have some violence to basically get it in, get it going. And then I'm going to show you what he talked about uh, about when Nikki Haley was running and that hate that came from him towards her. And then uh, you'll see the next clip where he talked about uh, hanging uh, uh, Fauci and Hunter Biden. And this guy's supposed to be a Christian. And he goes around with these events with Eric Trump and Mike Lindell and, and all of these other pastors and preachers and stuff. So let's sit back, take a look. We need to make church the state's business again. We need to bring Jesus Christ to the state 
and we need to eradicate any form of government that is oppressive to the individual rights, individual liberty, prosperity, peace, liberty, property of anything, our God-given inherent inalienable rights, and replace that with a form of government that's representative of the people and God's law. We are the church and we run the state. Even if they don't believe it to be so, it is a fact. And if they keep pushing around with American people and they keep playing all these games, they're going to find out. How are they going to find out? How are they going to fafo? Extreme accountability. I love it. You're, you're speaking my language, and I don't know how I knew that that was going to come out of your mouth, but, but I'm so glad that it did. I love you so much. Her humiliation hasn't been reserved for the ballot box, as Nikki Haley's multiple affairs against her military husband have come back to the surface to haunt her. She's been widely derided among her former colleagues and supporters as a disgusting whore. She's been exposed as a fake Christian who pimps Christianity for votes while taking part in third world Sikh rituals because she's an Indian. Not an American. So we're going to drag Tony Fauci out of retirement. We're going to put him in the docket. We will force him to confront his lies about gain-of-function research. We will read off every single one of the emails that he sent exposing the research that he funded at that bioweapons lab called the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We'll expose all of the emails he sent organizing and promoting the lies that covered it all up. And we will hold him accountable for the millions of lives that his illegal research cost. And when he is convicted, after a short and fast but thorough trial, he will hang from a length of thick rope until he is dead. Then, we will put Hunter Biden on trial. Not for tax evasion. Not for some phony gun violation or money laundering. No, we're going to put him on trial for the real crime that he committed. Treason. Selling this country off to rich oligarchs in China and Vladimir Zelensky's Ukraine and when he's convicted for those crimes, he will get the punishment that traitors like Julius and Ethel Rosenberg received before him. Death! And you see? You see that? Somebody talking like that in the crowd, standing up there clapping to that type of hate and that type of stuff going on? And these folks, many of these folks profess to be Christian. This is what we're dealing with. This is why... The, these money changers, these snake oil salesmen, just like Mr. Trump himself, they've infiltrated the church like never before with their daggone hate and the, the messaging. And people are paying to go to these events and they're fleecing people. They're buying cheap merchandise and stuff from these folks. Some of them, I mean, some of, I mean, some of the things that some of these folks sell. I don't know if you saw where the black guy got his, the, they got his butt beat up at a Trump rally that because they were merchandisers out there arguing about selling some merchandise or something. And he gets jumped. And, 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 and you know, when we talked about that, and some of you may have seen the video, fighting over some cheap Chinese made uh, from China, made from China merchandise, where they always talking about American made and things from here. But it just so happened to be made from our partners overseas. And they want to try to twist it and always want to put this hate on the everything in society, within the church. And these folks, like you said, are snake oil salesmen. As I close, I, I just want to close with a story with uh, that I thought of as I made this, wanted you to see this as something for you guys to think about of why this, this cancer that has entered the church through this MAGA movement, that why it needs to be eradicated. It has to go. You have to remove anybody in any position in anywhere that is that is, believes in the big lie, that they claim that America is founded a, as a Christian nation, any types of lies that has been pushed out there, believe in deep state conspiracy type stuff, believing that there's an underground tunnels in the White House that has child traffickings and all of these weird conspiracy. Anybody on that level, you need to get away from them. They, if they're in positions of trying to run for office, they need to be voted out and things.
But as I close, I mean, when I first went to L.A. back for college back then, you know, I was naive. Coming from the Midwest and going to a big city was life-changing, very life-changing for those of you who may know. And I go there, and I remember we were down in the district somewhere downtown. And, you know, there's some, we got some hustlers around, and a guy was showing some gold chains, supposedly gold chains. And he sat there, and, you know, I was like, okay, I'll take one. He took a lighter to try to burn this thing to show you, I guess, that it's real. And I said, that I gave him the money. Bought me one. I was excited until I got home and and I started looking at it. And I'm trying to look for the sign to see if it's 14 carat, 10 carat, or something like this. And I'm looking and coming to find out it was a gold plated fake chain. Got ripped off and things. And I'm like, oh, and that's what's happened with a lot of these people that stand by these so called pastors, so called YouTube prophets, so called whatever, whatever that they wanted to call themselves. The, the, the snake oil salesmen that they've been standing by, that they don't understand that these folks are fake. They look good on the outside, quoting scriptures. They look good as they talk to you and bring their wife on next to them. And, hey, and their wife is smiling and reading scriptures and all of that. Kids sometimes pop in, sit on daddy's lap or come in there. And, 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 and they look so friendly, don't they? But they're phony. If they're fakes. And I give you another story, the same thing that happened in L.A. Anything, so don't judge me. I wasn't saved. I was young. I wasn't saved. But when our first party, we decided to buy some marijuana off the streets. And we were going to get part. And we got this bag of marijuana. And we was all excited. And I had been smoking marijuana through it as a teenager, so I can handle it. But for some reason, we smoked that night. And I'm looking at posters and looking at stuff moving, and I was hallucinating and having kind of problems. And, you know, and all of us didn't feel right off of this marijuana. So we, we sat back and did it again at another time. Body feels weird. It took me a couple days to feel normal. Like, I feel like I was, I don't know what was going on. Like, you know, I almost needed to go to an emergency room. But I didn't know that they dipped marijuana, uh, that something big, a PCP. You know, that they, whatever, they dip it in uh, uh, something uh, at that time. What is that? Well, PCP or whatever, wet is the name for it. Some of you, some of you might know the name. Um, but I didn't know that that was the thing, the soaking the weed sometimes at that. I didn't know that that was a possibility because I knew I smoked regularly as a teenager. So something wasn't right. But, you know, I could have ended up possibly, you know, OD'd or something in the hospital or possibly dead with something, putting something in my body like that, not knowing. And that's the point. Some of you are gonna be spiritually destroyed for good, listening to these charlatans that you refuse to let go. I don't care how good and how friendly they sound. If people continue to tell you that they're frauds, there's a chance that they're frauds. Get in your Bible, get in the word of God, study to show thyself improved. Speak to him, pray. He will open your eyes and show you that many of these folks need to be avoided. If they are talking, Trump is anointed by God. I'll say it again, that he's anointed by God, that he is sent by God to save the nation. He's sent to do all of this great work. This man, this man that needs to face justice, he needs to face justice. And he and, he and nobody, I don't care whether you're a Christian or not, should not reward him with the presidency after what he did on January the 6th and leading up to it, because he did a lot of things leading up to it to try to make sure he can overthrow the United States government. And he should not be rewarded ever to step foot and represent the nation ever again. And he needs to face justice for his, all the charges that he has done along with his assaults, anything that's out there pending, he needs to face that. And as Christians and everybody, you need to let the law do his work and let the law take care of it. And the Lord is going to do the rest. Don't fear. Don't be fret. Don't be afraid. Jesus said he's with us always until the end of the age. He's with us through the rough times. He's with us. Just like when the disciples were in the ship and, and the storm came and they're freaking out. He's there asleep because he's not worried. 
He, they shouldn't have been worried. The master that controls heaven and earth, that he, that he was there and had the power as he was awakened and peace told the with storms to be still. And he will do that in your life. So don't let people fool you to think that this Mr. Trump, that he's the only one that can bring about peace in your life, stability in your life. There's only one man that can do that. And his name is Jesus Christ. And he died on the cross for us so that we can have eternal life, so that we don't have to be destroyed, so that we can, and he left us with the Holy Spirit to indwell in us so that we can have discernment to be able to recognize a phony gold chain, a phony froster that's preaching the word of God and claiming things and twisting the scriptures. We have that in us. Thank him today. We give him the glory. We continue to give him the glory on this channel. We shine the light on those that are lying in the Lord's name. We talk about issues the church went away from. We shine the light on the devil and his sneaky tactics. Take him head on and punch him right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is a channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.